Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to look at how to solve simultaneous equations that have three equations and three variables. So not only do we have x and y, but also z. So when you're solving simultaneous equations with three equations, we use the same methods as if we were solving simultaneous equations with two equations, except now we have a few more steps. The first thing you want to do is find the variable you want to eliminate first, so either x, y, or z. I'm going to choose z because that looks like the easiest. Then you are going to take two equations and first eliminate z from those two. So if we take these top two, we can see that adding one equation 1 to equation 2 will eliminate our z. As if we add these together, negative z plus positive z is 0, so z will be eliminated. So if we add these top two together, that gives us 3x minus y, and then z is gone, so we just have is equal to 2 plus negative 1, which is 1. So that's what you would do if you have two equations, but we have to remember we have a third equation here. So that means that we're going to have to eliminate z from this equation as well. To do that, let's use this equation as well as the one above it. So this is a bit hard because we have z and we have negative 2z. So let's make this z a 2 so we can easily add these together to eliminate z. To do that, multiply all of this equation by 2. That gives us the updated equation 2 to be 4x minus 6y plus 2z is equal to minus 2. Now that we have done that, both of our z's have the same number in front where 1 is a negative and 1 is a positive, meaning we can easily add these two equations together to eliminate z. So if we do that, we get a new equation here of 9x minus 7y is equal to minus 5. Now, we have two equations with two variables. You should be a little bit more familiar at this point. So if we now eliminate one of these variables from each of these equations, we will be left with just one variable which we can solve for. So let's choose to eliminate for x. Let's multiply this equation here by 3, so we have two 9x's. So if we multiply all of this equation by 3, we get 9x minus 3y is equal to 3. Now if we subtract 1 from 2, the 9x will cancel out. Then we have negative 3y minus negative 7y. The two minuses will turn into a positive, giving us 4y is equal to 3 minus minus 5. So that turns into a positive, giving us 8. That means that we get y is equal to 2. So we have found our first variable here. We have found y. All we have left to find is x and z, and we have solved this. Now we can get our next variable by substituting y equals 2 into one of our equations that has two variables. So either this one or this one. Let's just choose the top one. So we have 3x minus y equals 1. So we have 3x minus, and now we have y here. So if we substitute 2, we have 2 equals 1. And now our only variable is x, so we can solve for x. So we have 3x minus 2 equals 1. So if we add 2 to both sides, we get 3x equals 3. And if we divide 3 by both sides, we get x is equal to 1. So now we have found x and we have found y. And all we have left to find is z. Now to find z, since we have x and y, we can substitute those values into any one of these three equations and just solve for z, as it will be the only variable left. So let's just choose the top equation. That top equation is x, which is 1, plus 2y, where y is 2, minus z, which is what we're trying to solve for, or z, is equal to 2. Now that's the same as 1 plus 2 times 2, which is 4. So 1 plus 4 is 5, minus z, 
is equal to 2. Now let's move this up here to give us some more space and let's get z all by itself. So if we subtract 5 from both sides, that gives us minus c is equal to 2 minus 5, which is minus 3. And let's get rid of that negative by times in both sides by negative 1, giving us z is equal to 3. And we have now found x, y, and z. So the final thing we have to do is write our answer. And when you're writing your answer, you want to write it as x, comma, y, comma, z to show the order is equal to, and then we just pop in our values. So we have x first, and x is 1. So we have 1, comma, y, which is 2, comma, z, which is 3. So our answer is x, y, z equals 1, 2, 3. And that's how you solve simultaneous equations where you have three equations or three variables. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. See you next time.